Hello guys, this is Kisle from Ajareka and in today's session I'll be talking about the top 10 reasons to learn the Google Cloud Platform. So starting at number 10, we have simplicity. Now Google has made setting up an account and using the Google Cloud services very easy. Just by creating a Google account, you can access the whole Google Cloud Platform. Now if you already have a Google account, which I think most of you might be having. Just go to cloud.google.com and tap on the try for free button and you'll have the freedom to choose any of the services of the Google Cloud Platform. There are no upfront costs required to use these services. You get a $300 worth credit which you can use over a time period of 12 months. Now for startups it's beneficial to work, play around and get to know the Google Cloud Platform services before investing heavily in it, as they provide $100,000 worth credit for startups and $500 in credit for developers as well. Coming up to reason number nine, we have variety and versatility. So once you get started on the Google Cloud platform, there are tools for everyone and for everything in the IT industry. Now you can use all these products for development, like the developers console, web UI, and the command line interface tools to work for the command line, be it the Windows, Mac, or the Linux environment. Now you also have the option to use the RESTful APIs. Now Google has its own set of managed APIs that can be used in different applications for different purposes. Now needless to say that these APIs are very easy to work with. Coming up to reason number eight, we have the Google Cloud, which is the G Cloud. Now G Cloud is basically the set of Google services that can be integrated with one another to create applications and run websites. Now they are very easy to work with. You can use them separately as well as together for different types of applications according to your needs. Now Google stands out when compared to other cloud providers here as they specialize in modularity. Now you can use these different pieces of the Google Cloud into various products and you can mix and match these pieces according to your requirements. Now at number seven, we have the flexibility. So custom machine types is a feature of Google Compute Engine that lets you easily create a machine type customized to your needs. With custom machine types, you can create virtual machines with the optimal amount of CPU and the optimal amount of memory required for your workloads. Now you can create a machine type with as little as one virtual CPU to as much as 64 virtual CPUs. With Compute Engine, you are getting infrastructure as a service and with App Engine, you're getting platform as a service all under one roof of Google Cloud. Now the flexibility of the Compute and the App Engine allows to create a fully managed, customizable machine which can be scaled up or down according to the traffic it receives or according to our requirements. So we can say that they are breaking down the barriers of the infrastructure as a service and platform as a service by bringing them together, all along making things simpler for us as well. Now coming to number six, we have the big data, machine learning, and the artificial intelligence services. The Google Cloud Platform provides fully managed data warehousing facility with batch and stream processing along with added Hadoop and sparse specific configurations. Now GCP has an IoT specific intelligent platform that unlocks business insights from your global device network. Google Cloud's artificial intelligence provides modern machine learning services with pre-trained models and a service to generate your own tailored models as well. Their neural net based machine learning service has better training performance and increased accuracy as compared to other large scale deep learning system. And with the introduction of TensorFlow, everything we do on the machine learning engine is taken up to a whole another level. Their services are fast, scalable, and very easy to use. Now, major Google applications use cloud machine learning, including the photos, we have image search, the Google app, which is the voice search, we have translate and inbox reply, which is the smart reply. Now, coming up to reason number five, we have storage and database option. Now, Google Cloud Storage is a set of various storage services offered by Google for different domain scenarios, 
It allows worldwide storage and retrieval of any amount of data at any time. Now you can use these cloud storage services for a range of scenarios including serving website content, storing data for archival and disaster recovery, or distributing large data objects to users via direct download. Now here we have so many options like the Cloud SQL, the Cloud Bigtable, Cloud Data Store, Persistent Disk, Cloud BigQuery, and there are many other more options. The Cloud SQL is used for MySQL and PostgreSQL. SQL. Bigtable is used for scalable NoSQL databases. Now Data Stores is the document-oriented database as a service. Persistent Disk is a high-performance block storage which is very suitable for the virtual machines and the container storage. Now BigQuery is Google's fully managed low-cost analytics data warehouse. So you can say here that Google has mastered this storage domain and no one can defeat them here. Now reason number four is pricing. This is another domain where Google is way ahead than other cloud providers. They have no upfront cost required to set up an account or use these services. They also provide lots of free credits to explore these services. On an average, it is 60% cheaper as compared to the other cloud providers. Plus, if you use the services for a longer period of time, Google also provides discounts. The billing is done on a per second basis, which is how a cloud service should work. Now, finally, the most amazing feature is the price calculator which you can use to find out the estimate of the services that you are going to use so that there aren't any shocking bills or invoices later. So coming down to the top three reasons, at number three we have scalability. You can easily scale up or down your machines depending upon your requirements. Everything is made simpler by Google. Plus the Google VMs are auto-scalable. They have auto-scaler which scales up or down your instances according to the traffic it receives, all along saving money for you and making tasks simpler as well. Now this is really a cool feature as it decreases the overhead and also the engagement effort required for this job. At number two, we have the certifications. Now Google provides lots of certifications that are very important and very useful if you are looking for a good certification in the cloud department. They provide four types of cloud certification, which are the professional cloud architect, the professional data engineer, the G Suite administrator, and the G Suite. Now, these certifications are very good for people who are working in the cloud industry. Apart from these certifications, they also provide the Google Qualified Developer certifications. So, in order to get certified, you need to clear these four exams, which are the App Engine exam, the Cloud Storage exam, the Compute Engine exam. Now, clearing all these exams will certainly provide you with an upper hand over the others while applying for a job anyway. Now, coming down to our top reason, come on, it's Google. We all know how big is the database of Gmail, YouTube, and the Google search. And I don't think in the recent years, Google server has ever gone down. It is one of the biggest company in the world, and the worldwide network is phenomenal. You get everything you expect from Google, its reliability, scalability, their infrastructure, and lots more. You get everything under one roof and managing services is really, really easy. You can think of it as working alongside the world leaders in innovation and technology. So as I mentioned earlier, they are so cost effective and reliable. And also they are serverless, which means you do not need to manage the servers. Everything is taken care of by Google. And most importantly, being a little new to this cloud market, their annual growth rate are off charts already. And it's over 100%. Now you can also relate it to the amount of services provided by Google for its normal Gmail users, which is YouTube, the Google Mail, the Google Drive. We have Maps, Sheets, Translates, Hangouts, and the list goes on and on. So you do not worry about the quality of the services provided by Google. So guys, I hope these reasons are enough for you to get started with the Google Cloud Platform. And I'm sure you guys will start working on it as soon as possible. Thank you.